Well, hi everybody, and welcome to what we now call the frozen northwest of England. It's absolutely blooming freezing. There's not been that much snow from the uh, beast from the east, but uh, it has become extraordinarily cold. Um, so much so that uh, I actually forgot to switch on the water tank heaters and our fresh water froze yesterday morning um, and I found that out because the tap, the kitchen tap stopped working but the pump was still running so I could hear the pump sort of grinding away at the back of the van and no water coming out the tap or a very tiny dribble so um, I suddenly realised that that's what it was and uh, there's a little switch up on the uh, control panel on the sergeant control panel which is up there um, that has a little sort of water tank uh, icon with a thermometer next to it so I pushed that on um, it's nothing we couldn't use the water yesterday evening uh, it really wasn't working again this morning so bearing in mind that I, I switched that on uh, at about sort of quarter to nine yesterday morning and it took fully all the way round to this evening when we got back for the water heater to sort of defrost everything and for the taps to start working again so that's how blooming cold it is we've also got um, the wastewater tank uh, has frozen too now I don't know whether the wastewater is heated or whether it's just the fresh water that gets um, just that chill taken off of it but um, when we did run water this evening into the sink it wouldn't go away so the so the freezing was coming right back up from the wastewater tank into the sink so the pipes were blocked so what I did is I boiled up uh, a couple of kettles of water tip boiling water down and Wendy had a great idea for me to use salt because you know when we were when we were children um, we would put salt on the on our pathway uh, to melt the ice and that worked really well and I'd forgotten about that so I tipped um, about a third of a huge pack of salt down the sink and then sort of tipped boiling water after it and after about I suppose 10 minutes of it sort of soaking through suddenly all the water from the sink just disappeared into the waste tank so that means that that's all melted however the outlet has not melted uh, I tried tipping some water over the um, valve on the outside so there's hot water on the valve that sort of released the valve but the, it's obviously frozen on the inside so nothing coming out um, I don't suppose that's going to defrost anytime soon because it is absolutely bone chilling out there you can't I, w I went up to the dog walking field um, with Wendy and Pippin yesterday evening and I had didn't have my gloves on had my hands out of my pockets so trying to use my phone to control the the drone to get some drone shots of the real sort of freezing cold weather up here and within about three or four minutes I couldn't actually feel my hands I couldn't hold my phone I couldn't control it it was just an aborted attempt and on the way back here and it's a, it's about maybe two three hundred yards up the road my fingers were absolutely felt like they were in a vice they were so so cold and so so painful um, so you know it was it was really 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 cold it took me ages and ages to warm up anyway so 
we've been asked a couple of questions on how we're dealing with the the cold weather how we're getting on how we're keeping warm and so on and there are some issues um, the big issue is that all the heating is at the back of the van the boilers at the back underneath the bed um, and sort of in the in the garage area so the bedroom area heats up quite nicely it's all nice and cozy in there but you get down to the front of the van and I've mentioned this before there's this cold blast of air that comes out of the cab area um, pretty much all of the time now I've found one little reason for that um, it's not the complete reason but it is one little reason we have the um, blown hot air heating system which comes down tubes that are about this big um, and they run underneath well there's two vents underneath uh, the sofa that I'm sitting on um, one runs right there and another one down the other end but also that pipe that feeds those splits off uh, and feeds another vent on the other side it, only one vent on that side but the pipe actually goes through the floor out and underneath the van back in to the other side and then feeds that vent but by the time the warm air has gone through there down outside in a sort of a plastic pipe not insulated across the width of the van and back in it's freezing cold so it's actually blowing warm-ish air from this side of freezing cold air from the other vent so I've I've plugged that off for the time being but I think what I'm gonna do um, as a little job for future is I'm gonna actually shut that pipe off so that you know no none of the hot air is wasted being pushed to the outside it's all coming out of those two vents and that should actually warm it up considerably the other thing is that because this is absolutely particularly cold unusually so we've actually put a fan heater down the front end of the cab so there's a, a little warm uh, blow of air gonna run just to keep that and it does actually work really well it doesn't take much because when you when you've got the little fan heater on that's warming all the air that's blowing this way when you turn it off it immediately goes back to cold air coming this way so it's obviously some sort of gap around in the in the cab area and we've tried to do one or two bits and pieces but putting blankets around the bottom of the seats closing all the vents off and that helps a bit but I think we need to do more work on that um, because it is it is a freezing cold draft that comes through if you haven't got that heater on um, over time I think we might get one of those sort of electric oil fired radiators just to sit in the cab area um, just to run most of the time while we're parked up but there we are um, that's how we're getting on um, I'm a little bit worried about the waste tank being frozen up or at least the outlet it's, it's sort of not too big a problem but it is the tank it does read three quarters full um, so I'm a bit concerned I think we're going to have to go out tomorrow afternoon and buy a washing up bowl because we, we don't have a bowl to put in the sink so we wash up in the sink take the plug out goes down the into the waste tank and then we empty it in the usual way into the waste master and so on but now what we have to do is put wash up in the bowl and then take the bowl out and tip it down the drain so that's how we're going to manage that uh, until that unfreezes so there we are that's how the cold weather is affecting us I'm having to wear um, a thermal vest a t-shirt and a jacket and then a high-vis jacket on top of that when I'm out and a woolly hat um, in fact I've had I've had my hat on all day I've just taken it off but I've had my hat on all day and that's managed to keep me warm it's absolutely freezing I can't I can't tell you how cold it is but 
you know, if you're in the UK and you're watching this, you probably know how cold it is. Because <laughs> you're probably suffering the same. Um, we've had a number of people today on the campsite um, complaining about all the frozen pipes. Uh, of course, if you get water outside, it's going to freeze. Um, you know, who knew? But, you know, we've managed to get around it. Um, and we've had lots of people sort of phoning us today saying that they sort of planned to come tomorrow and wanted to move their bookings to another day. So we've managed to sort of facilitate those um, to some degree. But there's a lot of problems all over the country with, you know, being able to get somewhere in a car, let alone get somewhere in a car towing a caravan or in a big motorhome. Um, what I will say is, although it's freezing cold up here in the northwest, um, the roads are all pretty clear, so it's not too bad actually. It's just very, very cold, and we're all shivery. Anyway. That's it from me today. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Um, thanks so much to everybody who's commented recently with all the nice suggestions about how we can develop the channel. I really appreciate all those. Um, I don't think any of you are being negative about it. Um, and if you were being negative, I don't mind. It's fine. Uh, it, it, it really is. Um, any suggestions are good um, we can you know we can lump those in with everything else um, just a little word on the merchandise front we've had some suggestion from people that they don't want us to go the way of other channels where they go um, ramming merchandise down people's throats for the and and fully commercializing the channel and that is definitely not our intention we're responding to some requests that we've had for stickers and other things like mugs um, so I've got I've got mugs on order uh, I've got I, I think I've ordered 20 mugs so they're in short supply uh, I think uh, I think they'll they'll probably go pretty quickly um, I've ordered two t-shirts, one for me, one for Wendy, um, and I'm going to order some stickers. Uh, but I, you know, I'm still sort of thinking about that, um, and they'll probably be sort of giveaway sort of sticker things. So, um, yeah, the merchandise thing is not not to sort of come out. I mean, you know, I'm never going to I'm never going to make any money out of selling um, a few mugs and stickers. Um, it's just too much effort so don't worry about the channel we're going to keep it real um, as much as we possibly can we're pretty down-to-earth people and um, we appreciate all those people or you who've advised us not to change that's really nice of you so thanks very much for that and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye bye for now. Bye.